If you're like most red-blooded internet users, the sight of this fills you with a white-hot rage. Is there anything more frustrating about the internet than several minutes worth of buffering to watch a five-minute video when somehow the ads always seem to play just fine? Liz! What? Meet Brad. Well, be prepared to get even more annoyed when you learn what could be a big reason for it. Backroom squabbling among ISPs and content providers. Now, the internet is a complex place that relies on a certain level of cooperation between different types of companies to get you your content. See this visualization of the interconnectivity of web addresses from Wikimedia Commons to get a basic idea of what this looks like. You have your content delivery sites like YouTube or Netflix, and you have your consumer ISPs like Comcast, Verizon, Time Warner, etc. And you have your backbone networks that are there to help basically pass traffic around. This process of passing traffic between internet companies is called peering, and according to a report from Ars Technica, it's a major source of contention that can result in headaches for video-hungry consumers. Some more tech-minded folks like some on this Reddit thread can figure out workarounds that improve video performance, but the everyday user might just have to flip that YouTube video to 240p and deal with it. Anyway, the relationships among the categories of companies we mentioned are super complex, but a couple of scenarios might shed some light on what these relationships boil down to. In 2011, for example, a group of European ISPs began demanding more money from video delivery platforms like YouTube and Netflix because of their increasing share of traffic. Also in 2011, Cogent, a backbone provider that handles Netflix traffic, filed a complaint in France against Orange, an ISP, claiming they are hurting their business by providing poor connection speeds. Meanwhile, Netflix and Google have both started offering their own peering services. Netflix's version of this is called Open Connect, which they are offering as a cost-effective solution to ISPs who agree to certain terms. You can also read about Google's version of this at peering.google.com. And if that sounds like a simple enough solution to you, keep in mind that the incentives to agree to something like this vary since formerly internet providers could charge money for that interconnectivity. And if you're wondering why you may have never heard of some of these conflicts, well, when you consider how kind of unflattering it is to all parties involved, you can understand why no one really wants to publicize it that much. However, as more and more delivery of video happens online, we can hopefully expect the ridiculously complicated process of getting that TFN episode delivered from the YouTube servers to your eyeball with minimal buffering. Hopefully we'll get iron out and resolved eventually. There's much more to this story, and anyone interested in more detail about the ongoing battles taking place should check out the full article from Ars Technica, which we'll link to in the show notes. So how is the state of your video streaming? Have you been able to get your TFN fix without any buffering lately? Let us know in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie. Also, don't forget to subscribe because we're almost at 100,000, and once we hit that milestone, a weird celebration is going to happen. So stay tuned for that.